Atlanta America Seam Reed has made it clear that he thinks the Hawks should and will stay in Atlanta. Hawks owner Bruce Levinson agreed to sell his share of the team after the public release of a racially charged email that he sent. Mayor Reed joins us now with more on what's being done to find a buyer for the team. And it sounds like this is not an if, but a when mm -hmm. it happens. Yeah, I, I think it's certainly a win. Uh, I think the owners have been meeting uh, to set the time of sale, certainly of Mr. Levinson shares, and then he has a long-standing partner. Um, both of their shares equal 50 plus 1 percent. Um, Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, was in Europe. He got back from Europe uh, on Monday and will be meeting in New York on uh, Friday the 26th. Uh, they've retained an investment banking firm to begin vetting uh, individuals who are interested in purchasing uh, those she that interest in the Hawks. Um, right now I understand uh, that about 38 percent of the ownership which is uh, controlled by Michael Guerin, Rutherford Seidel mm -hmm. and a gentleman in New York um, would like to retain their interest uh, in the Hawks. Uh, those two individuals are Atlanta based mm -hmm. And we're having conversations um, right now very informally with individuals who would like to purchase the share. And right now it feels real good. It's going reasonably well. And uh, that's the stage we're in. I wanted to have a conversation yesterday really to answer the question that I had been getting as I moved around the city. And that is, were the Hawks going to stay in Atlanta and would they be in the city? And so uh, everything that I know right now is that we will be able to achieve that object objective. And I think at the end of the day, um, we will have gotten through what has been a very rough patch in a good fashion with a very strong new owner. This. Yeah, well, Mayor, I'm sorry, Karen, uh, Mayor Reed, there's, uh, there's one African-American owner in the NBA right now, yes. Michael Jordan. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of names being thrown around, uh, the Hawks' names now. Um, there's well, a statue being make news. Yeah, well, there's a statue <laughs> being unveiled of Dominique Wilkins, yes. who played here for the Hawks. Yes. Uh, one of the staples of our city. Sure. Is he one of those names that could be a potential owner? Well, here's where we are. Um, the individuals that I've spoken with, um, even if they were the, to buy Mr. Levinson's 24 percent mm -hmm. share, would likely have four to five percent um, that they would like for members of the Atlanta community. Uh, and and so I think there will be an opportunity to make sure that we have a diverse ownership group. Uh, from what I understand, at least uh, the six individuals I've talked to, everybody has stated that as a goal, really because this entire situation surprised us all. So uh, there wasn't anyone who was expecting this. Um, so we have all been uh, caught a bit unaware, but everybody has expressed interest run in having uh, black ownership as a part of their ownership group. And, here's question, and so I think, Mayor. Dominique, that's going to be a real opportunity for him. Um, right now, we're just making sure that Dominique is being treated with the respect um, that his career and his commitment to the Absolutely. city of Atlanta deserves. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, you have to give credit uh, to Steve Coonan at the Hawks. They've been making a good faith effort to do that. You just mentioned nobody saw this coming. This is not the spotlight we wanted on the city of Atlanta. Uh, email. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, can we put the genie back in the bottle, if you will? Is there any way to repair the damage? You know, I think that we will move on, and I think we're going to be stronger. I think that Atlanta has handled this uh, in a much different fashion than, say, the situation in, in Los Angeles. Uh, Mr. Levinson, to his credit, self-reported and made the right decision to sell. Um, Danny Ferry is on leave. So, and now we're coming together as a community to bring in a, a, a strong owner that really does understand Atlanta, is committed to the city and wants the team to stay in the city. So I think right now we're on track. Uh, I'm here this morning because I wanted to effectively communicate and let folks know what's going on and know about as much as I know. Well, we know you're going to be having discussions with Commissioner Silver soon, so we hope yes. you'll keep us updated on, on that I'm as happy well. To. In the upcoming if you invite days. me back, I'll come as soon as I get we'll back. Leave, we'll leave the light on for you. How about <laughs> Thank that? You. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mary. Beautiful, fancy set they have, y'all. Thank you. We appreciate stuff. that. All right. Always Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you. All right.